Greetings everyone, this is Sheikah here with an important reminder. So March is Women's Health Awareness Month and I want to talk about heart health for everyone, but especially for women. According to the CDC, coronary artery disease is the most common heart disease and the number one cause of death for women here in the United States. So it's important for all of us to take steps to protect our hearts and that includes women in particular. As women, we generally take on a lot of responsibilities and in the process, we often find ourselves lost, maybe not thinking about how we need to take care of ourselves, right? We're in the midst of going and going, not realizing we aren't caring for ourselves like we could. And we only have so many hours in the day, I know, and there's little, if any, time left after caring for and doing for everyone else. Like, you know, taking care of the kids, the parents, the man thing, the girlfriend, the husband, boyfriend, family, friends, pets, the job duties. I mean, it's a lot. And by nature, we want to care for and take care of everything. Rather we are happy doing this or not, this all equates to stress. And stress is, in fact, the silent killer. Everybody already knows that. Now, just me thinking about my life alone, I've always been this caring person. I've always been caring for someone else in some way. I've always worked to take care of myself and be the best that I could be at whatever I was doing. I am a thinker. I'm a problem solver. I am always doing something. So back in my early 20s, I found out that my blood pressure was high and it was mostly my diastolic blood pressures, which was basically showing that like my heart was not relaxing like it needed to. And so that was causing me to have a higher blood pressure now it was enough to get my attention and back then i'm you know at this point i'm working i'm in the neuro icu i'm caring for stroke patients and i knew that i did not want to end up there as a patient so at this younger age i was initially in denial i thought to myself like wow you know i am healthy i'm young i'm I, how could this be happening to me and then it was also mentioned that my left ventricle was larger than it needed to be at the time and I've always been husky more muscular uh, I do weight training and pole fitness body weight training etc so I was shocked to learn this about my heart but I kind of understood how or why this could have happened I also come from a family uh, history of high blood pressure and heart disease so this definitely explained what was going on with my blood pressure at the time. I was prescribed a blood pressure medication and at the time I did take it. But then I started to look at or look closer at what else in my life could be off because being young and active was apparently not doing it. And I struggled with this for a very long time. Now the most common heart issues affecting women are valve related such as mitral valve prolapse, mitral valve regurgitation, in which the valves of the heart they get floppy or they are not opening and closing properly so now the blood is is not flowing through the heart like it needs to and it may get backed up coronary artery disease where there's plaque in the arteries and that is essentially going to be clogging up the arteries and putting you at risk for a heart attack or a stroke if these you know plaque particles now block the blood flow then there's congestive heart failure in which the overworked heart is now failing unfortunately as we age um, especially as women we have these hormonal changes and that's going to increase your risk for developing all of those that I just mentioned so it's important to do anything that we can to not add to this slow it down or in my higher thinking I like to prevent heart disease altogether eating a balanced clean whole food healthy diet exercising regularly and this can be any creative fun movement of your choice when you want to see some change like you just have to start thinking to yourself like i have to do this for me give your body a little bit of challenge be specific to your body and your needs now if you're already dealing with a heart issue don't get up and start running don't sign up for something that you can't tolerate start slow but you have to start somewhere 
And that can be just taking a relaxing 20 minute walk in nature, which is what I like to do. That gets me going. I also started to incorporate small three pound weights with that. And you can just kind of hold them in your hand if you want to look at them. I don't know, whatever you have to do, but just get moving. I prefer swimming, dancing and yoga. I'm not really about running on a treadmill, but I try to do something to just get my body and my blood moving. You want to limit and avoid this uh, risky substances like alcohol and smoking. And I know that there's an addiction behind that. And you know, you have to figure out where you are with that journey. It took me almost two years to quit smoking. And I had to seek a addiction counseling in the end after trying on my own so many times. And sadly, I started at a young age. So I was dealing with this on my own by myself. And I struggled with my own shame considering how I grew up. But I had to get started and had to get over that. And it took me time. And now I'm, I'm happy to say it's been over 11, 15 years so much. I also understand that smoking and drinking is socially enticing. Many people feel like they have to do this in order to, to relax or to be in a crowd or to be comfortable or they have to have a drink at mealtime. And it, it's just not true. There are so many things that you can do socially that's fun and entertaining that doesn't involve you damaging your body in the process you need to also you know get checkups regularly some people haven't been to get a checkup in all of their adult years and you know if you don't take this time to like figure out what's going on with your body it'll be forced upon you sadly if something happens to you you will have no choice at that point point. and unfortunately if it's a if it's something serious which I don't want to bring up anything that's going to wish bad juju on anybody. But if it's something serious that takes you out and puts you in the hospital for weeks on weeks and then you end up in a rehab and all of that, then now you have like totally have to take a new direction in your whole life. And you don't want it to get to that point. So taking care of your heart should be a priority. It can help you live longer, healthier and happier. And you don't want to be walking around here carrying too much weight, being out of breath can't breathe or feeling uncomfortable so take back or in, in what I like to say keep your heart healthy thank you for taking time to watch this video I hope it has been informative and helpful even though short take care of your heart and be well